This video is going to show you how to solve the mushroom tower puzzle in the Devaith Trials. Now, you start play with a mushroom tower and a number of actions and resources and just interesting stuff on the board. So knowing that mushroom tower is how you solve this puzzle isn't really as important for this one. Uh, the title is less of a hint for this than, say, previous ones. Um, this is a win this turn puzzle. Uh, we do have 21 Magicka, which does seem like a lot, but because we're going to be playing Leafwater Blessing, um, you know, a couple of times, you'll see that that starts to get, you know, eaten up pretty quickly, but thankfully we can still do all the things that we want to do. The real trick to this puzzle is figuring out what to betray and what not to betray, and then also which shout you fetch with Greybeard Mentor, because we are given four shouts, we have no cards, uh, in our deck that are of any worth. However, we do have Therana. So when we play a shout, it's going to shuffle copies in, and so we have to figure out which one we want to essentially fetch with Greybeard Mentor. And that's important because, as you know, when you play shouts, they level up, and so essentially you have to determine what one do we want to get the most value out of. Now, in this case, the answer is Dragon Aspect. Why? Well, because again, as I kind of hinted at, we're going to be playing Leafwater Blessing more than once, and this is the only way that we have any access to healing, so getting as much healing from uh, this as possible to get our Leafwater Blessing triggers uh, is really important. So uh, we're going to start by playing the Blessing, just right out of the gate, on the uh, Crystal Tower Crafter. We are not going to betray because we don't want to get rid of Therana, and we clearly don't want to get rid of our Crystal Tower Crafter. Next up, we are going to use our Dragon Aspect, because we want to be able to fetch it back with our Greybeard Mentor, and it's going to get copied with Therana. So, we're going to use it on one of these O2s. We are not going to copy it, because again, we don't want to kill any of our creatures. So we're going to cancel the Betray. Again, this is all about learning. So now we get our Leafwater Blessing back. We can go ahead and play Greybeard Mentor because we need to get a copy of it. Observe. We're also going to go ahead and play Call of Valor now to put more bodies on the board. We are going to copy this and we're actually, we're just going to go ahead and get rid of our hero to make two more heroes. Because it's really just about flooding with bodies for future betrays at that point. Next up, we are going to use Drain Vitality. Now, what's interesting here is that we're going to use it on a Sench Tiger, specifically because this has four attack, but when it goes minus one, minus one, that means it'll have three attack and can then be hit by an unrelenting force later. And we are going to betray because we want to get rid of this other makeshift uh, defenses. So the first one goes here. God. We're going to get rid of one of these Seven Guard heroes. And we're going to get rid of the makeshift defenses. Hopefully you see where we're going with this. Next up, we're going to use Unrelenting Force. This time we're going to get rid of a Sench Tiger. We're going to use our other hero here. And we're going to get rid of uh, another Sench Tiger. We are not going to attack yet, though, because we've got plenty more damage to do with our Crystal Tower Crafter. Now, we're going to go ahead and play Leafwater Blessing. Here. We are not going to betray this, because we have one thing left to uh, be able to betray. And we uh, need that for our Dragon Aspect. I'm going to go ahead and Dragon Aspect this here. We are going to sacrifice our Greybeard Mentor. You'll notice that because we gain health, we do get Leafwater Blessing back. But we are going to go ahead and do this. This one will go ahead and smash this. We don't get another Leafwater Blessing because we haven't copied it at all. But that's okay. So we, we've cleared our path. But we don't quite have 21 damage, so you might be kind of panicking here. Don't worry, we got some tricks left up our sleeve. We're going to go ahead and attack with the Rana to get our 3 damage in. Puts him at 18. Now, we can Leafwater Blessing here. 
And we're gonna now use Betray. We're gonna get rid of Therana. She's done her duty, done her job. And we're gonna use the copy here. Which now takes us to a convenient 1818, which is enough for lethal. So that one is very, very much about order and very much about knowing what to betray and what not to. Hopefully this helps if you are stuck. Thanks for watching, and like always, until next time, may you walk on warm sands.